Jeff Derenhelm didn't waste any time getting into the room after that spill. Can you give us an update on his condition? I'll know more tomorrow. I mean, it looks like it's going to be a little while on him, but I'll, I want to give you more specifics, so I'll know more tomorrow. Um, upper body injury, and uh, he'll be out for a little bit here. All right, specifically looking back at the game, a very spirited contest. What did you see from your vantage point? Well, I mean, I saw lots of good stuff, to be honest with you. Um, obviously, extremely frustrating to end up losing the hockey game at the end. Um, but, you know, our, my job is going to be to fight through frustration and look at the, 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 the tape and, and learn from it and get better. But I saw lots of things that I thought we did actually real well. Um, I thought as the game went along, we, we got more pucks than net. Um, you know, I thought our power play scored at, at a critical moment. Um, we got to keep it out of the net on the PK, but um, overall, I thought there was good stuff. Being down three to one, what do you think was the key to you guys getting back and tying this thing up? Well, I just thought I thought we played good to come out in the second. Uh, I thought we played real good. Then we took the, the two penalties back to back. And then I actually thought we gained some momentum there. The power play wasn't good enough there in the second, but I actually thought we were playing good hockey there. And I thought we came on the third and continued to play. We didn't let the, the early goal uh, get us down. We just kept playing, and I thought uh, as a result, we had we had some opportunities. And one of the things you said this morning, you thought Sproul could give you some help on the power play, and it certainly worked out that way. Well, you can really shoot it, and it's one of those shots that, that it creates chaos because you don't know where it's going to go because it's so hard. you know. And, and so when it hits people, it, it, it doesn't just fall down. It, it goes lots of places, and um, he's, got a, he's got a real good shot first mentality. I thought he handled himself pretty well tonight. Hey, Jeff, what did you see on that game winner? Um, well, obviously, it came in the zone. They, they shot it. It, it, it. You know, our guy blocked it and went right to Kucherov. It seemed like Luke filled that second line role well. Your thoughts on his play tonight? Well, he came out. He was the best player on our team in the first period without bar none. Um, I thought, you know, he laid a big hit, made a big play to Nielsen on the goal, um, went to the net. We wanted from him. We wanted four-check pressure. We wanted uh, net presence. We wanted to win puck battles, and he certainly did that. Um, you know, so I thought he did a good job tonight. How about Mantha on the power play? Yeah, it was good. You know, he's a big body. He's got does that kind of hands around the net. So good, real good play by him. I thought Anthony played pretty well. Did that hit and fight by Ott kind of light a fire under everybody? Um, well, I think you know it's a, it, it 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 gives you momentum when you have that that kind of play for sure. It was a great hit, and uh, we need more of that. You know, I thought we had a great hit in the first by Lenny. We had a great hit in the second by Otter. Uh, he answered obviously the bell, which he always will, and and I thought uh, it helps you feed your momentum for sure, especially at home with this crowd. And you know, I know the crowd, they like that stuff for sure. So it was good. What do you think of the chances for and against? You talked well, about. Well, I'll have to go morning. back. I, I I go back and review it. Uh, my gut is that we would have outchanced them tonight, and uh, you know we didn't give up many shots, and I think we would have outchanced them. I didn't. We we did a good job. Now you know I think as the game went along, I'm sure they got tired. They played last night, but uh, I thought we did a good job of limiting their chances. And then just coming back, I mean, mentally, when you're down 2 nothing, six minutes into the game, and especially given what happened last game, it can kind of maybe play in your confidence a little bit, but sticking with it and then having that big explosive third period. Yeah, I mean, I think our guys, from, from getting down 2 nothing, I thought we stuck with it, and from getting down 3-1 at the beginning of the third, I thought we stuck with it, and, you know, we showed lots of composure. Now, we got to get results. I mean, there's no question, but uh, I, our biggest focus is, is, to, is to get better here, and so, you know, I thought there was lots of things we did better, certainly than, than Montreal, maybe than we have in a little bit, and now we got to take that, and we got to move forward and get better uh, as we move through the week here. They got their third goal early in the third with Abby in the box, and it looked like at the end of the second, he and Kalorm were going at each other. Any explanation as to why they both didn't go or why Abby was given a penalty in that situation, Jeff? I have no idea why both guys didn't get a penalty. It, it boggles my mind.